If you are a fan of reality TV, then you should recognize uh, this woman. Uh, the picture we're going to show you is Shaw's of Sunset star Gigi. And recently on the show, she revealed her new shape and talked about a fairly new cosmetic procedure called lipo replacement. It's sort of a green way to do enhancements that's pushing implants to the side. So here to explain more about the procedure and why it's becoming a reality to many women in our area is Dr. Paul Ruff of Ruff Plastic Surgery. Good morning. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. So kind of explain exactly what this procedure is. Well, breast augmentation is still one of the most common procedures that women do on a yearly basis. Mm -hmm. Implants, there are patients who have or people who have concerns about having an implant in their body. We can take their own fat, mm -hmm. harvested from somewhere else on the body, just like liposuction, process that fat, clean it up, get it purified, and then be able to enhance the breast in ways that sometimes implants can't even do. Now, is it only breast implants? Because I think on the Shaws of Sunset, she took fat out of her sides and um, enhanced her backside a little bit. We have been able to use fat in multiple areas of the body. The backside is a more common procedure these days as well. Oh, we really? also use it at the face and other places as well. Now, when you say you're able to harvest the fat and then clean it up, is that something that's all done at the same time in one procedure, or do you have to have the, ha you know, the fat harvested first and then your s cosmetic surgery later? Well, we need those cells to be alive. That's the most important piece, and, and that has to be all done at the same time. We use a, an ultrasonic device to help kind of shake the grapes off the tree, get small packets because we want the smallest packets. And then we clean those up. We go through a purification process so we get all of the, uh, the damaged cells and other you know, parts of the liposuction out of mm -hmm. there. And then we very gently and very carefully layer the fat back in so that it is like a blood, it gets, it's near a blood supply. It's just like taking a skin graft from one area of the body. But it's all done the same day? Done the same day. It takes about, for just a standard breast augmentation, mm -hmm. it takes about two hours, maybe an hour and a half. Oh, okay. And, and not in a hospital like at your place, it's a surgical center, everything's done there. We have a fully certified surgical suite in our facility. Uh, I think it's important to have a fully certified surgical suite wherever you are hospital, surgery center, right, office Right, no space. matter what you're having done. And you go home the same day, yes, obviously, absolutely. I'm assuming. So who would be like the perfect candidate for this? Patients who have a modest to small amount of breast tissue who are looking for a modest augmentation. It still can't do what a 350, 450 cc implant, and that's hard to describe to somebody, but if somebody has an A to a small B and wants to get from a there to a B small C, mm -hmm. that is achievable. But if you're going in and you want the, I want the double Ds, that's not happening. No. That's not, not happening. At all. Okay, so now is what's the difference in cost between like a silicone implant and doing this quote unquote green procedure? <laughs> so a, a typical breast augmentation in this area is average about sixty five hundred dollars. Just that's about average. Mm -hmm. um, this is about the same. Oh, it is. So yeah. re it's really not cost prohibitive. It's just a matter. Do you find that more and more people are coming in and asking for this? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. As it becomes more popular, reality TV shows, things like that. Uh, patients are more aware and they ask. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, are there any drawbacks? So the, the most difficult portion is oftentimes the thin patient who has almost no fat and, t and trying to do an augmentation. You, you need the, the particles, you need the fat to be able to... You need a little surplus. Yeah, yeah. so that's probably the, the biggest So if you're difficulty. really skinny, this is not for you. No. <laughs> and then you were saying a little bit in terms of um, recovery time, it, it's about the same, maybe a little less painful in terms of the actual implants, but where they harvest the fat can be a little uncomfortable. Yeah, even with our standard breast augmentation, most of our patients are back to work within one to three days. This is actually pretty quick as well. There's not a lot of pain at the breast injection site or the enhancement mm -hmm. site. Where they have their discomfort is where we've taken the fat from. All right, and this is the most important question. Um, are you wearing those red socks for the caps? Absolutely. All Go caps. right, look Go at the DC good doctor. Sports. Rocking the red. You think he's all conservative plastic surgeon? There he is. Look. Go Caps. He's bringing it. Back y'all over there. They just got some more business just for that little <laughs> move right there. Smart man. That's Smart cool. man. Thank That's you, Holly. Cool. In the spirit of